Well, the State Department was celebrating International Pronouns Day, very, very important day when we talk about pronouns. I know that the Americans left behind in Afghanistan, their pronouns are help and get me out of here, please, State Department. But the State Department wasn't talking about those kinds of pronouns. They were talking about the pronouns that we use to address whether somebody is a man or a woman. Luckily, we can always turn to TikTok for more information on this. Uh, So we will. They're going to play these TikTok videos for me. I haven't seen them. I don't know what I'm about to see. I may have to put my eyes out, so you might want to turn away. Let's see what they've got. What are your preferred pronouns? Uh, Zay, Zem. Oh, I've never heard those before. What are they? Uh, They're what's known as neo-pronouns. What are neo-pronouns? They're basically your own custom pronouns. When no other pronouns seem to fit, you come up with your own pronouns. Anything can really be a pronoun. Oh, how do I use them? Um, it depends on the person and their pronouns. They, them follows a similar spelling to they and them, and even similar grammar rules like zer and zer. So they, them, themselves, theirs, things like that. Oh, okay. And there are other new pronouns you said? Well, yeah, because they're customizable. Anything can be a pronoun, really. Oh, I didn't realize that you can customize your own pronouns. That's pretty cool. So (laughs) this woman is so unique that the only person she can talk to is herself because she's the only one unique enough to understand that she needs a pronoun that doesn't exist. See, anything, as she says, can be a pronoun. So a pen can be a pronoun. It, pen obviously is a noun, but it identifies as a pronoun. So when you call it pen, it says, don't call me that. I'm a pen. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I, you know, I have no way to react to this sanely because uh, this woman is talking to herself and inventing words. So I have nothing to say except please stop, please. For me, a big part of the appeal of using it, its pronouns is the fact that they're dehumanizing because of a huge cocktail of trauma and abuse and neurodivergence and my own queerness, I don't really click with humanity. Like, I just don't vibe with it. And in the past, people have forcibly dehumanized me. So basically, I like to use it, its pronouns for myself as a way to sort of reclaim the dehumanization other people have forced upon me. Another part of the appeal, for me at least, is the fact that it makes people uncomfortable. What I mean by that is that sometimes people want to push me into certain boxes that they deem as harmless for their own comfort. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of being humanized for the comfort of other people. Because of the fact that I'm queer and neurodivergent and look the way that I do, people call me a freak a lot of times. And they're right about that, and I'm fine with it, because I don't want to be humanized for other people's comfort. <laughs> I just want to be humanized who wants to be called it. It doesn't want people to put it in a box. But of course... I would, I think putting it in a box and sending it very far away would be a really good thing to do. So this is a person who wants a pronoun that dehumanizes him because he's been dehumanized. So he wants to dehumanize himself to take control of his dehumanization. You're not like other people, are you? I think that that's, you know, makes perfect sense. I mean, the guy's only human. (laughs) All right, show me another one of these crazy things. Hi, my name's Jasper. I use they at pronouns. Hi, my name is Liana. I use they demon pronouns. This video is how to use our pronouns. So we're going to basically present three sentences. Um, one of them is going to have one pronoun, the other one's going to have the other pronoun, and then the last one is going to have both pronouns interchanged. So Liana uses they, them pronouns and demon pronouns. So the first sentence would be, Liana is my partner. They are cute, and I am theirs. I love them very much, and I hope they love themselves too. For the demon pronouns, it would be, Liana is my partner, Deem is cute, and I belong to Deem. I love Demon very much, and I hope Deem loves Demon's self too. Then interchanging the two would be, Liana is my partner, they are cute, and I am Deem's. I love Demon very much, and I hope they love Demon's self too. Now, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Do, do these people not have jobs? Do they don't have, is there no place for them to go, like to, to, to actually take up their time? I, I think the, the thing about this is 
You know, in the Bible, when when Jesus meets somebody who's possessed uh, by demons, the demon says, we are legion. There are many of us, this kind of buzzy voice. So this makes perfect sense that they want to be called they, and they also want to be called demon. And I think that maybe that's kind of terrifying, but who knows? Maybe it's just normal or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I wonder what would happen if people just thought like, they could just be called by ordinary pronouns because they were just ordinary. Would that take away their originality? Uh, and would they be forced to look in the mirror and say, maybe I should do something with my life that makes me original instead of dressing up like that and calling myself funny words? I'm special! I'm unique! Just a thought. Let's see one more of these. Hello. Oh! I am Doll. I am one of our object alters. When I front... I find it very difficult to remember things that the body requires, such as how to move, how to blink, how to breathe, and how to speak. For the purpose of filming this video, I have Meredith co-conscious with me, so that I will not mess up. However, this is the third take, the first two, I forgot to breathe and or speak. I hope this helps you learn. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just momentarily terrified by a person who was a doll who'd come to life. That image, dolls that come to life, it terrifies my wife more than any other. And like she can't go into that Walt Disney ghost house because it ends with a little doll saying goodbye, come back soon. I'm sorry, but <laughs> here's a person who forgets to breathe. That's not good. That is not a helpful thing. When you forget to breathe, you will be reminded. You know, I got to tell you something. These, I don't know if how many of these things are jokes or people putting uh, other people on, but this is actually not good for people. <laughs> it's not good for people to think that they are outside the realm of normal humanity because they are not, and maybe their pronouns are she or he, and that would be boring, and they would have to, it would force them to actually do something with their lives. This, I have to say, I, you know, I appreciate this because it is as, as frightening as anything I've ever seen, and now you'll have to excuse me uh, while I pour bleach into my eyes and scream maniacally before going, thankfully, completely blind. My eyes, the goggles do nothing.